Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Wood Shop. Thanks for joining. Besides drinking whiskey, which I really like, I also like a good cocktail. And every barman has to have the right tools. And one of those tools is a whiskey or cocktail muzzler. So I'm going to show you how to make a cocktail muddler just like this. And what is a cocktail muddler, you ask? So when you have fruit and those types of things and herbs, you push down on them and basically you crush them at the bottom of the glass. Easy enough to do. Difficult to do if you don't have one of these. Uh, most of the times they're sold in plastic and they really just don't fit the bill. So we'll show you how to make these. I'm going to take this particular branch here. No idea what this branch is, but we'll open it up and start turning it and figure out how, what's inside. And if you stay to the end, okay, I'll show you how to make a really great vodka basil lemonade. Super refreshing on hot summer days and you'll really enjoy it. So, links at the bottom, check those out to my blog and to some of the tools I use, and let's start making. Alright, first thing you want to do is find the center of this branch. I happen to have this Rockler Center Finder. Works out pretty well, and what I'll do is I'll mark this multiple times, because it's, branches are not always round, round. So by doing this, it'll give me a good average of where the center is. And then all I'm going to do is point a hole just enough to get my uh, just enough to get my drive center in. Let's mark the second side. Like I said, mark three or four times, five times, walking around the circle. You have to eyeball it to some extent because branches just are not easy to do. And all I'm trying to do here is just find the approximate center, point it out, so my drive, my drive center gets a good purchase. And there we go. So, let's go over to the lathe. Alright, first thing I found out was that this is ironwood. Trying to set the drive spur of this stuff thing is really tough. It's like quite a bit of hammering, but I got marks, should be all set. Should I get in the right spot? Lock it up. Step back and test it. By the way, folks, anytime you set something in a lathe, make sure you step back before you turn it on the first time, just in case something goes wrong. So you can't see it, but I have a face shield on, other protective gear. Let's start turning. Okay, I'm using my uh, previous cocktail muddler as a pattern. And there we have it. This cocktail muddler is perfect size for Tom Collins glass. Let's see. Okay. Let's keep turning. Okay, basic shop shape is uh, is here. Got a really cool little bell shape at the end, and uh, almost the same as the previous one. Wide, large, so I can use both ends as a as a muddler. Now I can start sanding.
So all I'm going to put on this is a little bit of board butter or wood conditioner. This is my own make, which is a small amount of uh, beeswax mixed with mineral oil. You can check one of my other videos out or my blog. It's in there. I'll put a link to that. You can see that. But you can see how that nicely that works. And the combination of mineral oil and beeswax really makes for a nice durable finish. I will say these are not dishwasher safe. And I would apply this, reapply this every few times that you wash these. We'll wipe it off. Wipe off any excess. And there we have it. Look at that baby. That's looking really nice, man. I'll tell you what, I'm really happy with that. And you can see from our previous one, this one has a little more grain feature to it. But pretty nice. I'm liking both of them. So, let's go make a drink. Okay, cocktail muddler is complete. I'm really happy with it. Pretty much matches the first one I made, the prototype. Like them both. But now, we're to the point where I want to show you how to make a drink. So this is one of my favorite summertime drinks. Basically, I've got an ounce of lemon juice, an ounce and a half of simple uh, syrup, ounce of vodka and ice, and some basil. So first thing you want to do is drop some basil in here. Take the muddler. I did have a little bit of water in here because I like to do it with under a little water. And you just kind of squash that stuff up. You'll get uh, little bits of green everywhere. Boy, it really re releases the aroma of the uh, basil. Lemon juice. We'll drop in the ice. And we'll top it off with a little water. Now, the beauty of these things is they're also a stir stick. And it has a nice green tint to it. Ah, that's perfect. Perfect tartness, perfect sweetness, perfect uh, amount of vodka in it. Absolutely a great summertime drink. Basically, Perfect. So, first of all, I don't advocate you drinking while you work with power tools. I don't normally do this out here in my shop, but I want to keep the same aesthetic so you guys can see it. And hey, in the bottom, there's links to my blog with the recipes for this stuff. There's also links to some of the tools and things that I use, like the party tool and whatnot. Guys, give us a shot. This is a heck of an addition to your bar. It's also, like I said, a great Christmas gift, a great uh, gift to any friends that you have that are coming up for birthdays, those kind of things. But believe me, they'll love it if they're cocktail drinkers. So, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And on that note, hey, good making.